collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties. On a side note, it's come to my attention that not everyone knows what the word fabsome means. It's a mashup of fabulous and awesome. Because that's what we think all of you are. Fabsome. I've had a lot of people request that we remake some of our old crafts. So that's what we're gonna do today. We made a sofa and chair set a very, very long time ago. I'm talking pre My Froggy Stuff days. This was back in 2010. I think it was published November 1st of 2010. And wow, looking back at these older videos, you can really see how much our crafting has changed and how much has actually stayed the same. This video was about four minutes long originally, and um, it was on a channel that we had before we were even my froggy stuff. So some of you might not have seen this project before. For our updated couch, I'm gonna use a tissue box rather than a cereal box. I like the shape and it's a lot deeper. In the original video, we got a couch and two chairs out of the cereal box. However, since we're using a tissue box rather than a cereal box, if we want a chair, we'll need another tissue box. At Michael's, I found this fabric on clearance for $2 a yard. It was the end of the bolt. They had a yard and three quarters left, so that's what we have. We will need cardboard, sponges, a wood grain paper, I'm using a printable from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, and felt. Let's start by cutting open the box. I carefully remove the top and front of the box. I place a doll in it to decide how tall I want the sofa. Taking into account, we will have a cushion on the bottom. So I'm gonna go with three inches. I mark a line and trim it. Take the other tissue box, cut away the front just as before. Trim the sides to three inches, then cut one of the sides. And I'm leaving a little bit of a tab on the ends so I can move it over and glue it down. Trim off the excess to make a matching chair. Trace all of the sides on cardboard, cut them out. I chose to double all of my cardboard because it's kind of thin. I stack and glue the layers together, then glue the cardboard together. Then place the tissue box inside. And I can see that we need to do a little bit of trimming. So let's mark it and cut. Repeat for the chair. Cover the inside of the tissue box with fabric. I'm using a little glue to hold everything flat. And I put a small piece of felt on the sides to try and smooth it out. Once the inside is covered, I take the cardboard. I cut a long strip to glue around the sides. Trying to be as neat as possible. Glue the tissue box into the cardboard, pressing all the edges together to try to get a neat seam. Once both of them are covered, we can work on the cushions. I'm using sponges to make the cushions. I'm placing two sponges side by side, trim them to the length needed. I made mine a little smaller because I think once we add felt and fabric, it'll create a little bulk, so we'll need that extra space. I use the leftover sponge to make cushions for the back. All right, they're starting to look like a couch. Let's cover each cushion with felt. I don't worry about covering the bottoms or the back. I cut strips of fabric. Sorry, there's like fireworks going off right now. Each strip is about an inch and a quarter wide. I fold over the sides and iron them down. About a quarter of an inch on both sides. You can choose to run a straight stitch along the edges. For a no-sew option, we can just glue them down. I'm trying to use a little bit of glue and then quickly press it down. Cover the sponges with fabric. 
making little pleats at the corners, and then pinching and holding it until it dries so we get a nice clean edge. I was going to put my strips around the edges, but I don't know if I need them now. This is pretty neat. Let's see if they fit in the couch. Yeah, not bad. I'm actually gonna pull it forward to the front and line it up with that edge. All right, that kind of works. Maybe instead of putting the strips on the cushions, we can fold them again and glue them down, then trim it and use it to cover the edges. Yeah, we kind of cleaned that up a little. Now we can take the bottom cushion and put it in the chair. I'm going to line it up with the bottom and glue it down. Add the back cushion. I'm going to push it down to make sure that edge is lined up and the back is covered because this is not pretty and we don't want this to be seen. So we're going to just push it down and glue it. I did glue it at a little bit of an angle. Now we just need feet. In the original video, we used bottle caps, but today we're gonna use leftover cardboard. Let's cut it into one inch strips, measure the bottom of the couch. I'm gonna go with something that is four inches. I cut the strips into four inch pieces, stack and glue a few together, cover them with a wood grain paper. Then we can just glue them underneath or we can clean up the bottom a little by cutting more cardboard that's a little smaller than the bottom of the couch. I stack and glue together two layers, cover it with paper, glue it underneath, glue on the one inch strips, one on each side to make the sofa. Repeat for the chair to finish the set. It's a pretty decent height, a little under four and a half inches. It's a nice deep couch and it's no so. Overall, I think the dolls will be pleased. Thank you for joining us while we remade one of our old craft projects by recycling a tissue box rather than a cereal box. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!